it's been two months since I even attempted to film something. Not like I've posted it anymore or anything. That would be silly. No. Right now, I've got nothing to do. I'm in a small town in Minnesota because my mom works here and she's like, come on me to work today. I'm like, you, it's your only day off, you know? Come have fun with me at work. And she was like, yeah, I have nothing for you to do. Go entertain yourself. So I kind of walk about town and I come upon this graveyard. I've been here before. My cousin actually used to live here. And we look at this graveyard. So graveyard, a lot of power. Enjoy the view. I'm wearing a necklace. I don't wear jewelry anymore. All I do is work, read. Um, okay, fan fiction, not technically reading, but still counts somewhere, right? I use this app called Smoothly, like saying the thing. I do that a lot. There's this app called Covet Fashion. I also do that a lot too. Besides those few things and work, I don't do much of anything. I've got to go to the bathroom. My mom's office is about five or six blocks that way. The sky is beautiful and it's September. And I, I haven't seen this pretty in a long time. Blue sky, cloud, the sun, patchy bright light, graveyard. Love graveyards. Graveyards are a pretense for an afterthought. There's all this extra space called about for the known fact that people will one day die and they will need a little piece of real estate to lay themselves for the rest of whoever knows how long. But to me it just it doesn't make sense. Like, what do you care? There's a stone with your name on it. The only reason there's a stone with your name on it is to secure the fact that you won't be forgotten. I can tell you for a fact I'm going to all of these stones. I don't have a clue who any of these people are. And just because I read your name on the stone does not mean of that thought, nothing more. Because when years come and people stop thinking about you, the stone ain't gonna do shit. But if people thought about you enough to write you down in history books, you don't even need a stone. You're in history books. That's your stone. They say you die twice. First time is the day you actually die, and the second time is when your name is uttered the last time. Anyway, just my little two-bit philosophy on death. Um, by the way, that's, that's where I was filming. You were right there. This camera's gonna die. Anyway, now I'm actually walking through the graveyard. Here's Haas, here's Huez. They're my new friends. Oh, and I should mention Hase too. More butts. It's like, man, I'm so lonely and I'm so bored. I can do whatever the fuck I want and I can just board it all out. And it just comes out. But seriously, I gotta take a shit so bad right now. Look at this water tower. Look at this motherfucker. It's so like, it's really tiny actually. I'm gonna add to the windy. Bye, graveyard. Both towns weird me out, you know? Because you can just be walking down the street and a bike girl will just come by and be like, hey, you know how this thing goes? And people will just openly talk to you. And they have no reverence about it. They're just like, oh look, person. I'm in a small town. Or I live in this small town. I can just talk to people whenever. People don't care. It's neighborly, it's friendly, it's normal. We're people, we talk to each other. Except we don't. I'm meant to be in a big city where people never talk to each other. Look at that. Well, like, look out point. Reminds me of Mary Poppins. You know how they have the guy, he's on the roof, and he like, keeps sounding off like a cannon thing or something? And they have to go to their positions and hold all the, anyone know what I'm talking about? No, no, okay. So, this is a cute little wall. Um, I got this huge crush on my ex. And as weird as that sounds, and he's not even like super cute or like super hot or anything. Like he's, I just really like him. I like this person. This camera gets heavy after a while of holding and pointing at my face and walking and wondering how many old people are looking out their window like, what is she doing? Oh, lovely. Plants for sale. 
Oh, 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 I've got some squirrels barking at me. Okay, so earlier, my mom took me to this place called the Mocha Cafe. Mocha Monkey Cafe or something like that. And it's really quaint and cute and shit, but then like, as she left to go back to work, because we just ate there for lunch, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna stay here and read, but since I'd already left, I didn't want to walk back in just to sit down and read. So I went and sat just outside of it, you know, this little wire table thing. I'm sitting here reading my fan fiction. Like, I'm so close. I'm like six chapters from the end. Now I'm like three, but that's not the point. I'm really close to the end. And then I noticed there's this bee flying around my smoothie. And it's got like one of the slushy tops to it. Like, like, like that, you know, so there's like air, you know, I could totally climb in there. And I don't know if I'm allergic to bees, man. I don't want to deal with that. And so I just like pulled my smoothie away and I was like, no, go away. But it just like, then it kept just dive bombing at me. I was just like, man, this bee won't stop fucking following me. Okay, and then all of a sudden it disappeared. So then I was like, okay, I can sit back down, keep reading, just ignore it if it comes back. But it came back and did the same thing, went for my smoothie and I grabbed my smoothie and it started dive bombing me. So I was like, fuck this. I'm gonna go find somewhere else outside to sit. I wasn't about to go in someplace else and just go sit there. I walked about two blocks away and found this little like stone bench and table thing and I sat there. And not five minutes later after I was happily reading and like done, it showed the fuck back up in my smoothie, flying around it and I was like no. And I got up and I like was walking away from it and it was just going around my purse for a while and I was like maybe it's just really dumb, it doesn't realize where I went. And then I was like... Why the fuck did it follow me? How did it find me? Like this, I don't like bees. I don't know if I'm allergic and I've never been stung before, so it's just like a dangerous situation, you feel me? I was like doing this dance thing and like swatting at it and like, I got it look fucking ridiculous because I wasn't that far from the town square, so I kept like, driving by and I'm like, I was like dancing around and people were like, shipping. And then after a while, I just got so done with it that I just I walked all the way to this park and sat at one of those benches over there. Smelt. Smell of rotten apples running on the ground.